Problem 221 provided an example of a high-low method in terms of calculating overhead based upon labor hours. What I thought we would do is use the same problem and show some of the Excel skill sets that you might be able to use in terms of doing the same calculation. So you notice here that we have labor hours. Labor hours is considered the independent variable in the sense that this is essentially is the driver for the overhead cost. The overhead cost that we have here is the dependent variable and this is going to load up on our y-axis. What we want to do first is we want to calculate or set this up in a table and the tables are actually kind of interesting in Excel. The type of table that we're interested in is going to be a scatter point table. Scatter point meaning that it's going to calculate our x and y axis. So if we go to insert and then go to the insert scatter is when we click this we can do bubbles and this is essentially is what we're coming up with. So you notice in this table is we have on the y axis the independent variable of uh, the overhead cost and the x axis is showing the actual number of labor hours. And then the scatter points essentially are picking the points within the x and the y axis. The formula that we are using is this y equals mx plus b and the y equals mx plus b essentially is going to identify the intercept which is b and essentially b meaning the intercept of the fixed cost so when we say this is if the labor hours is zero, what is our fixed cost? And then the slope of this is going to be the intercept line that we are considering. To get the trend line is within this is we take, highlight one of the serial points here. We do our right click. And what we want to do is we want to add a trend line. So adding the trend line, we're simply doing this as a linear line but what you see here is that what it's doing is it's identifying the most efficient line between all of the variables. Now one of the interesting things that will actually uh, calculate this in a, another formula but if you notice the display equation on the chart is what we have here is we have the formula. So the dependent variable meaning y is calculated as the slope which is 3.9 plus our fixed cost and our fixed cost in this case is $48,126. Now I want to show you just one more thing related to this calculation so that we can show how these variables come together. So we want to find the slope. So a function within Excel is where we're looking at equals slope and then within the slope is what we're looking for is what are our known y's and what are our known x's. So our known y's are the items that we see here. We separate this with a comma and we do our known x's and in this case the known x's are going to be our labor hours. We close this with the parentheses and we come up with our slope of 3.9. Now the fixed cost essentially is in this formula is what we would consider the intercept. So we do the same calculation. So we go equals intercept. and then the beginning parenthesis. Now, I did this in the other problem essentially directly into the formula. We can actually hit the insert function over here and we can then add the information. So our known y's are going to be overhead cost here and our known x's are going to be our labor hours here. So we've calculated basically the same thing over here and essentially our fixed cost 
is $48,126. Now, if you want to convert this into dollars, just go Control Shift 4, and that converts that over here. Uh, slope, we probably don't need that as uh, so many decimal points, but we can do this as 3.9. So here you have it. We now have the slope, which is the, in the formula, which is the M, and we have the fixed cost, which is the intercept, which is the B. So for any variable, we're actually able to calculate our overhead fixed. So I hope this helps. Uh, this is actually is a neat formula that we can use within Excel. And it's something that if you take with you, you can certainly use in many functions within this course as well as your career. So thank you very much for your time.